Hi there, Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here at eXp Realty in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. And I wanna to talk to you in this video about the five things you need to know about living in Sebastian, Florida. Always, if you find this content helpful, give me a thumbs up so I can have some feedback from you and I can make more content that is like this that can be useful to you in the future. Leave me a comment if you have questions about anything that I um, cover in this video or if you want more information, make sure to let me know below. I'm quick to respond so you don't have to worry about that. And if you click the little bell and the subscribe button, you're gonna get any future videos that we put out sent straight to you. So I'm gonna jump right into it with you. Here are the five things that I want you to know about Sebastian, Florida, about living in Sebastian. And who am I to tell you? Well, I'm actually a former resident of Sebastian, Florida. I lived there myself with my husband, John, before we had children. And um, also I'm a real estate agent here in the area and I have sold numerous houses uh, land and condos in Sebastian, Florida specifically. So I know the area very well, and I'm also very fond of it. And the first thing that I want you to know about living in Sebastian is that it's really peaceful. Um, Sebastian is uh, widely residential. So there is not a lot of, there's not industry, there's not a, a ton of commercial buildings in Sebastian. There's not a lot of like shopping malls and things like that. It's very residential, um, the greater Sebastian area. And it's very peaceful. Um, the pace of life, I would say, is uh, slower and more serene and laid back. So that's the vibe that you're gonna get out of Sebastian, and it's really, really great. The second thing that I want you to know about Sebastian, Florida is the community's love of conservation. And when I say that, what I mean is that there's a huge portion of Sebastian that is dedicated as a wildlife preserve. And you can go, you can walk through, they've got some hiking trails, it's really lovely, but it is protected by the government. So um, there's a huge uh, kind of conservation effort with that preserve area. And also one thing that a lot of people don't know about Sebastian is Pelican Island Wildlife Preserve, which is right in the heart of Sebastian, is actually the very first national wildlife preserve in the whole country. So started right here in the heart of Sebastian. That's one of the things that I really love about it. I love this area. I love the weather. I love the beaches. Um, I love the, you know, the wildlife around us. It's always like so accessible. It's really, it makes a really neat experience here uh, to live in Florida and amongst all of that. And one of the things that I really, really admire about the communities here are that they actually appreciate that as well. And then they wanna foster the conservation of these wonderful things for us in our lifetime and generations to come. So that's a big, big selling point for me. And one thing that I think is really important for you to understand about Sebastian. So the third thing that I wanna to talk to you about Sebastian is the fact that it is not a shopping Mecca. And what do I mean by that? And why am I even bringing that up? Well, if you're looking to move somewhere that you're gonna go out with your girlfriends and do a lot of shopping on the weekends and um, lots of bistros and places to eat and that kind of stuff, you're not gonna find it in Sebastian. Sebastian is really residential. We've got some of the main um, like um, conveniences and amenities as far as shopping is gonna be like Walmart, you've got Home Depot, you've got a lot of mom and pop restaurants, really not many chain restaurants at all. Um, but really, Sebastian, if, if you're a shopping lover, you're not gonna get it done in Sebastian. But 
the wonderful thing about Sebastian is that it's in such close proximity to a lot of great uh, cities with a lot more shopping and some more buzz and things going on. So you get to live in this beautiful, peaceful, quaint community. And then within a one hour drive, you're gonna have a lot of options for shopping and eating out and a day spent out. So. Um, I really actually appreciate that because I don't want to live in the in the midst of the hustle and bustle. I don't want to deal with the traffic, but I do want to take advantage of some of those um, fun things to go out and do. So I really like that. Sebastian is also just north of a town called uh, Vero Beach, Florida. And Vero Beach actually has a lot of neat things going on as well. It's got um, a, like a beautiful art museum. It's got a really great Riverside theater. So you can actually go see live theater, comedy shows, um, a movie theater, um, more dining, more chain style restaurants and things like that going on. So there's a lot in this area and this immediate vicinity within a 20 minute drive, within a one hour drive. But I think it actually is very important because I am a, a gal that came from a small town and I moved to another small town. And I think it's important just to mention that you're gonna have to look outside of Sebastian for shopping. So if that's important to you. Okay, the fourth thing that I want you to know about Sebastian, Florida is that the prices are great here. So as a real estate agent, I am very well versed in what is going on in the housing market here in Sebastian, Florida. And um, I think it's also really, really important that if you're looking at this area and trying to find out more information, that you understand that it is a very affordable place to live, um, more so than even it, the neighbor right to the south of us that I just mentioned, Vero Beach. You're gonna get more bang for your buck in Sebastian for whatever reason that is. It might be multifaceted, but the main thing that you need to know is that it is a very affordable place to live. The home prices are very affordable compared to other areas of Florida, other cities in Florida, as well as areas around the country. And it's a, just a really, really lovely place to live. So well worth um, the cost of real estate here in Sebastian, Florida. So my fifth and final talking point for things that you need to know about our area here in Sebastian, Florida is going to be that Sebastian has an inlet. And if you are not somebody who is from this area or has ever lived near a big body of water, an inlet is a specific to our region. An inlet is where the ocean um, pours into like a, a river, right? So it opens up into a river. Specifically in our area of Florida, what that means is that you're going to have more boating and more fishing access to you. So what it looks like geographically is that you're gonna have coastline, you're gonna have an inlet where the ocean comes into, um, into the land and it's gonna create an island, either a peninsula or an island, but the inlet's gonna come in and then you're gonna have uh, land, like a little island, and then the body of water and then the mainland of, let's say Florida here in our area. So. Um, the inlet is actually going to do a lot of neat things for the area and that's why I'm bringing it up in this video about Sebastian specifically. So um, the inlet actually brings in fresh ocean water. A lot of times you'll find that you have um, kind of clearer water. Brackish water is the when the, the ocean water mixes in with the fresh water inside of the in between the, I'm trying to give a ge geography lesson here, but in, in between the island and the mainland. And so a lot of times near the inlet, you'll see that the water runs a little bit clearer. So that is aesthetically a nice thing, but you're gonna have a lot of fish activity. So this is great for people who have a love of fishing and love that sport and are, wanna be actively involved in it as well as boating. So if you if you actually own a home, let's say on a navigable river here, you'll be able to get your boat out through that inlet and make it to into the ocean 
So um, it, it's really kind of a convenience thing and it's a little bit niche to people who like those specific activities. So, um, but it is an important thing to know because if you go north of us, um, north of Sebastian is going to be like Miko, Palm Bay, and then you get into Brevard County and there really isn't a great uh, major inlet in those cities as well as south of you and uh, south of Sebastian is Vero Beach um, and like the greater Vero Beach area down into Fort Pierce. Now Fort Pierce does have an inlet but it's quite um, quite a haul to get down there. So the fact that Sebastian has an inlet is quite convenient for boaters as well. Um, so that is my fifth talking point for Sebastian. Wrapping up, the five things I want you to know about Sebastian, Florida is number one, it is a peaceful community to live in. Number two, it has a love of conservation. Number three, it is not a shopping mecca. Number four, the prices are great. And number five, um, it has an inlet. All right, so if you have any questions about any of the information I covered, leave me a comment below, click the little thumb, um, give me some feedback, let me know what's helpful, what's not helpful, and make sure you click the bell and subscribe to get more videos like this into your inbox. Uh, I am Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here at eXp Realty. Me and my team of agents are here to serve you as a real estate resource, so please do not be shy. If you want more information about our area, we would absolutely love to help you. And until next time, have a good one. Thank you. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.